The next little effect I'd like to show you, or technique, is cork burning. And you can get images like that skull and crossbones, or the carp, and actually put it into the cork. And it is very resistant and won't wear. It can be quite fun. What you need to do is I buy a cork burner. This is only a very cheap one that I bought off the internet. Really, it's a glory. This one is a glorified soldering iron with a very fine point. Plug it in comes hot and you literally burn your image into the cork. You can get much better ones that are uh, finer by means of fine you can hold right down to the tip. I can't do that with this because I'll obviously burn my fingers. The clever bit is getting the image onto your cork. If you're on the internet, click images on Google or whichever, you can find images like skull and crossbones. The one site I went on was of tattoos because they're predominantly block colours and you get some nice cool designs like, like that. Thousands of images. Select one that you like. I'm going to do the skull and crossbones one again. Print it off as a black and white image off your computer. Um, and if you can resize it to the size that you want to wrap around your cork. If the cork is a shaped cork, you've got to bear in mind that the, the shape will distort as you're going round. Also, it's a mirror image, so if there's any lettering, you need to inverse the image first before you can put it onto your cork. Right. A nice, strong, stronger the better black and white image. Simply. Out. If you're going to try and wrap it over a contoured shape, it's, there's a bit of a gap under there, so I might need to cut vents in the side to allow the cork to go down. However, for ease and speed, I'll do it on a parallel piece of cork. So paste the image the wrong way up onto the core. I can just about see the image through here, so try and get it square. And then with that brown masking tape, just take that into position. I don't want to cover any of the image. Then, methylated spirits. Put it, your brush in. And paint over the back of the image. And you can see it's becoming translucent. like magic. Okay, now the back of your brush or another object. Rub as hard as you can without damaging the paper, tearing the paper. Well over the image. Why you need a bold image because if it's too fine, fine lines are difficult to come out. 
image off and the ink has transferred onto the cork. So now it's simply a matter of getting the cork burning tool and carefully burning or branding into the image. And you can then, these little wispy parts, I can I can put some of those in and I can be a little bit freer with those in my imagination or design. I'm going to follow it exactly.